guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for this video, you guys will be helping me pick my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day pajamas. I decided to pay Miss Riri a little visit. So this will be from Savage by Fenty. I've never purchased anything from their site before, so this is a first for me. Also, just in case you're wondering why I have toilet paper on my tree, our elf on the shelf, Juanita, she's right here. She decided to help decorate our tree last night and that's what we woke up to. So here are our items. I bought a few different styles and everything was actually really affordable from what I can remember. I am nervous about the sizing though, especially because it's my very first time ordering from them. But first off, you know I had to start it off with a onesie. Now this is very, it looks kind of big to be honest with you. Um, and I got this one in a size medium. Oh my God. Do y'all see a stretch on this? Honey, I could have gone down to an extra small probably. And here is the reason why I actually got this one. I've been looking for a butt out onesie for years now, literally for years now. And so I was super glad that the trend has caught on. So as stretchy as it is, it is still very form fitting, which I don't even understand it because the stretch on this thing is redonkulous, okay? But it's still very form-fitting. Like, obviously, you can still see my shape. It's not loose or anything. I do still think I could go down to a small and it would fit a little incy bit better. Here is the back, my favorite part. It is so freaking cute. Like, look at it. I am obsessed. I wonder if the flap really does come off. Oh, it does. The flap really does come off. But it's not a snap off, it's their buttons. Which is totally cute either way. The material is really soft, very comfy. I could parade around town in this all day, literally. And look at how cute it has like these little ties. You could put your thumb through there, which sometimes I like to do when there's a little hole in my sleeves. And you know what, 10 out of 10, especially for this material, I am living for this material. Um, one thing I'm not too crazy about though is the print. It's like a Christmas print, but it looks kind of tacky if you ask me, just because it's like random, you know, like red cars, heels, handcuffs, purple boxes, a guitar. Like, it just looks so tacky to me because it's just not, I don't know, like it doesn't really go together. I don't know, I wish they would have stuck to like a pink and gold, or if they were gonna do red, stick with like red and gold, you know? I'm not crazy about all the colors. I think that's the only thing that I'm not loving about this. But speaking of the print, I bought more stuff in that same exact print. So I bought this top. It's like a little tie up cardigan style top, I guess. Long sleeves and it is cropped. And for my bottoms, I bought these super cute undies. They tie right here on the sides and they are like full coverage or at least they should be. Okay, here is my second outfit and I am obsessed, like 1000% obsessed both of these are a medium the top and the bottoms the bottoms you can actually untie and tie as tight as you want or as loose as you want so it gives you a little bit of room to play with the top also has the three little ties right here in my case i just slipped it on over and it was fine here is the back i cannot show you know everything that's going on back there but as you can see it is fully covered plenty of room which is hard to find for me. I feel like I want to go make some gingerbread cookies and then watch like Elf. Okay, and let me give you guys the price for the onesie. So the onesie that I tried on is called Tis the Savage Open Back Onesie. I bought all these items during like Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So they had, you know, a sale going. So my onesie regularly shows $84.95, VIP price of $64.95, and then I guess 
the sale they were having made it $25. So it went all the way from $85 to $25. So these panties are called Tis the Savage Hot Short. The top is called Tis the Savage Long Sleeve Sleep Shirt. And the panties were $873 and the top was $10.48. That's like the final price I paid for both of them, which this shirt shows originally priced for $40 and the panties priced for $32.95. And if you guys see a little peek or something, do not be alarmed. They are pasties, like I wear in every single one of my videos. Next up, let's go to this pop of color. Doesn't really look too Christmassy, but I thought it was such a cute set. I really don't like that everything comes separate. I wish that they sold stuff in a set. For my bottoms, I went with these pink little leggings. They say Savage by Fenty on the front. And this is the top. It's just, you know, a plain little crop top. Not gonna lie, I am pretty impressed. I did have to throw a bra on, however, because this shirt was like sheer see-through. And you can see my pasties all the way through it but here it is with a bra a lot more comfy than I thought it was gonna be and the leggings fit a little nicer as well like I love this like crop t-shirt look and the bands especially are so freaking pretty I love the design and the fact that it says like savage by Fenty I do have a little bit extra room in my leggings if I needed it please look at how pretty it looks right here on my waist when the two bands meet literally is adorable I love it and this top is called the CLF savage by cotton jersey crop top and this was a medium and the bottoms are the clf savage by cotton jersey leggings size large so i did size up on the bottoms just because i have a you know xl booty the top was originally 32.95 the leggings were 39.95 after discounts and the vip and everything else the top was 873 and the bottoms were 1048 i left the one i'm the most excited for for last here I got a two-piece set so the top is like a little cropped classic pajama set style little plaid and this one has like a little Fenty emblem so cute okay so these look like regular bottoms right nothing special you could get them at Walmart right they have a butt out butt out how freaking cute and Rihanna actually wore these in one of her Instagram pictures and that I saw that picture and I was like okay like now is the time because that is too freaking cute here is that last set and I do like it look at the bottom right here it's kind of frayed gives it like a really cute hobo kind of look the only thing you guys the tragedy in all of this is that my pants are too small so right here at like the widest point of my hips the pants are too tight so it's kind of screwing me out kind of you know pushing me in especially like right here the top is a medium and the pants are a large so I guess I should have probably gone up to an extra large here is the back I do have on undies I wore the ones that I tried on at the beginning of the haul but wherever you guys see the gray undie it's supposed to be my booty cheeks but I couldn't show you guys my butt crack so and it does have like a little tie right here where you can untie it I suppose and maybe that'll help so I probably will exchange these for a size extra large just so that I'm comfortable and I'm gonna cross my fingers that I'll get them back in time for Christmas. So out of all four Christmas outfits that I tried on, I think the winner for this year will be my onesie. Love the material, super cute. I think that that's gonna be our winner. All in all, I felt like the stuff was pretty decent. I think it makes me wanna try some of their lingerie next. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see anything else from Fenty from me, and I will get that going. Let me know in the comments which outfit you think I should wear for Christmas. Also, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell the notifications and I will see you guys soon.